How's it Grasshopper? Today's a trigger time I'd like to show you um, how to preserve the uh, your firearms for a very uh, long time. Um, I've learned this um, not a hard way but um, a necessity out of a necessity. The reason uh, was um, back in uh, 1985 um, I had to report to a basic training at the Fort Sealy, Oklahoma. For the duration of the uh, time I left and come home I had to wait to um, uh, preserve so that the, uh, the all the uh, firearm collections that I had, uh, there weren't that many, but uh, that I had that uh, didn't develop any uh, surface rust or um, uh, pitting in the barrel and all that stuff. So what I did uh, back then was um, I used um, WD-40. So you need a WD-40 for uh, this uh, block of instruction. Uh, the gun grease, I used uh, outers, gun grease, ceram wrap, um, this one uh, works much better, uh, I'll show you um, later, and uh, bristle brush, uh, this one here, uh, you could get it from um, uh, Hobo Freight for like $2.99, you don't need to pay $80 or $30 for a bristle brush, and uh, this one here, uh, I'll show you how to use a um, uh, little bit later. So, um, again, um, I had to um, a, a way to preserve the rifle, uh, rifles and the handguns that I had uh, so that the, I didn't develop any uh, rust. Uh, back then, um, I did not have uh, gun cases or um, have a, a vault that is. Uh, uh, humidity control and all that good stuff. I I, I didn't have it. Uh, again, the back then, uh, only the bowl cleaners that I used was a uh, Hoppies and uh, Outers bowl cleaners. And after that, um, I used the WD-40. The CRP wasn't uh, coming to picture. Uh, I mean, like a decade later, uh, I used that. But um, the WD uh, back then, uh, WD-40, uh, gun grease is all I had. To preserve the uh, preserve the rifle. So uh, before I do that, uh, what I like to uh, do is uh, make sure the weapon is safe. Finger off the trigger. Empty. And uh, what I like to do is um, I, I like to take it apart and um, put the uh, uh, grease underneath the uh, um, action and the barrel because that's the part that the, you're not going to see for a long long time and so uh, uh, let's begin um, before proceeding please um, if you haven't watched my um, uh, firearms cleaning video uh, please do so before you're proceeding okay um, it's not that sexy but uh, it's a very um, easy and um, convenient way to uh, clean the uh, weapon Also, the, uh, contrary to the uh, belief that uh, uh, these uh, rifles uh, was uh, uh, tightened, like 30 to 35 pounds uh, for the uh, screws in the front and the back, I believe those are uh, related to the active stop uh, savages. Again, now this is a savage rifle. It's a model uh, 10 XP. 10 FXP. So again, uh, this one here, um, I'm using just a hex key to take it off, and, and it, uh, again, it doesn't require no 35 pounds. Oops. So that's about I felt about maybe about five to ten pounds. Okay. Now this is the. Um, Newer model, newer model that has the that has the uh, uh, blind magazine and the screw will be rest on it. Uh, the earlier models they had the blind magazine that was uh, um, attached to the um, uh, receiver, bottom of the receiver. So this is the uh, newer model. Alright, uh, this one here I'm not going to take it apart anymore. 
All I'm going to do is uh, spray That's done. The bolt. Again, I have uh, a trash can uh, it, so that the uh, it will um, collect all the axes that are coming off. All right. Um, what I can do is uh, spray WD forty first. The action. The greasy is uh, very um, thick, so that's why I use uh, WD-40 to uh, loosen it up a little bit. Um, what I found out is that um, without the WD-40 or a CRP, this grease grease it just dries and it just just kicks it on there and uh, it doesn't flow nice easy. And if you need more, put more on it. Show you a little closer. Oops. I'm doing this so that the uh, these parts here, the under parts, that you will uh, really um, uh, clean it once the uh, the rifle is assembled. Okay. Now, once the you believe that uh, you got enough grease and the WD-40 on it. I'll send the rifle back. The Savage says that the, uh, you need to um, uh, tighten this screw first. Um, but that, what, I, what I like to do is, um, I will do that, but um, I will also uh, tighten the uh, rear. So the rifle was a seated. If you have um, steel trigger guard, you could tighten as uh, much as you can. However, um, uh, if this is plastic, I don't recommend a tightening it real, real bad. I mean, real tight. Okay, I forgot to do was uh, spray the uh, screw out. So I'm gonna spray it. Oh, before uh, you're doing this too, uh, wash your hands too, so that you don't uh, leave the uh, salt, which will cause a nice um, <laughs> fingerprint on the uh, your uh, firearm. Just snug. Right now, both sides are snug. Um, make sure that you don't touch the rear. This one is just holding the uh, this trigger guard in place, and uh, if you over if you take take it off and then uh, over tighten, it will crack the stock or strip it all all together. And right there, I don't think that's not even a uh, ten pound at all, and it's tight. There you go, snug. Okay, before I take it in there, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the uh, bore thoroughly with the WD-40 and the outside, and I'll let, I'll drip, uh, drip drip excess off a little bit, and then I'll take it inside and I'll uh, use the ceram wrap to wrap it. I did that so that you can see the um, WD-40 dripping. There's the... Uh... 
Alright. I'm going to put the uh, bolt back in. I'm going to uh, spray a little more. So now um, let's go inside. Alright, this is how I um, mummify the uh, my firearms 
and uh, kept all the uh, my rifle was going, um, going uh, rust and um, unusable. So uh, what I do now is um, I'll turn the um, rifle upside down or the handgun so that all the WD-40 uh, goes to the uh, muzzle end. And once um, I put it, I put it like this for about a day or so, and then I will uh, put it into the uh, gun cabinet upright or um, like this upside down and uh, then I noticed that the uh, when the WD-40 it will dry out the moisture and that the dish um, wrap it will shrink a little more it will shrink um, tighter uh, so, uh, I guess um, the WD-40 just sucks up all the uh, moisture so um, unless you uh, break the um, uh, ceram wrap, then you have to do it again. But other than this, um, I kept uh, my firearms and the handgun. I mean, all of my firearms, uh, rifles, and handguns for uh, close to uh, three decades, and um, it didn't rust. So uh, I thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.